Hi everyone, my name is Brittany. I run a store called Creating Writing Warriors through the platform of TeachersPayTeachers.com and today I'm going to show you one of my drag and drop Google Slides activities. This specific activity is intended for students that are 4th through 6th grade and it works best with virtual classrooms or classrooms with one-to-one -one devices. If you enjoy this video, there's plenty more activities like this on my Teachers Pay Teachers website, which is TeachersPayTeachers.com slash CreatingWritingWarriors. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the future. <laughs> All right, here we have the determining text structures using transitional phrases puzzle piece activity. The reason I chose to create this activity was because as students progress through the elementary grades, their expectation for the purpose of their writing increases. So from kindergarten to second grade, we see students creating narratives for their fiction writing. And then for their nonfiction writing, they write opinion, opinion pieces. Then in third grade, we see uh, a different nonfiction text coming to light. You see it a little bit in second grade, but not as much. And then from third through fifth, the focus shifts to still that opinion piece, but also uh, informative text. And then all of a sudden in sixth grade, those nonfiction texts become a little bit more higher level thinking. And so we see compare and contrast, contrast and cause and effect text structures start to come into play. So if our expectation for these students is to write these text structures in sixth grade, we want them to understand what these text structures are, what the purpose of them is, and the language that you would see in these type of text structures prior to them starting to write this in sixth grade. So this activity is for students in fourth through sixth grade, and it gives them an introduction to what type of lingo, what type of language is used in each of these text structures. So students will read the transitional phrase that is in that are in these longer white puzzle pieces and then they will match which text structure these transitional phrases would be part of and these text, stru text structures are down at the bottom and there are these colorful puzzle pieces. With this activity I created two versions one with these blue pink and purple versions of puzzle pieces, and then another with red, green, orange, and dark blue uh, puzzle pieces just to give some variety. And so I'm going to show you how this works. Just so you know, this background is an image, so students will not be able to move these white boxes or these white longer puzzle pieces, and that just helps make the activity a little more user friendly. So the only thing they can move are these puzzle pieces. All right, I'm going to show you how this works. And we're going to start from the left side going down, and then I'll move to the right column and go down. And students can, I'll show you this in a minute, and students can put these puzzle pieces on either side. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to do it uniformly and just put them on the left side just because that's the type of person I am. You might have students that really, that want it very uniform and you'll have some students that will put some on the left, some on the right. does not matter as long as it connects to the puzzle piece so you can see if they're understanding the assignment or not. Okay, so the directions are pretty much exactly what I just said. Attach the colored text structure puzzle pieces, which are the ones on the bottom, to the whole transitional phrase that is used within that nonfiction text structure. There are two puzzle pieces for each text structure. So starting at the top left, we have the transitional phrase, one way to help is, and so students will think to themselves, which text structure would I read the phrase, one way to help is. And so if I was a writer, I would use this text or this transitional phrase when I'm describing a solution to a problem. So students would come down and they would take a problem and solution puzzle piece and they would drag it up to the white puzzle piece. Now you'll have some students that get close like this and they'll say that's good for me and you'll have some students that really want to be more accurate with their puzzle piece. So a little tip, if you press the shift button when you're close to the to connecting those puzzle pieces and the arrow keys, you can be a little more accurate with your placement. Um, some students will care, some students will not. Moving down, we have the transitional phrase first. 
And so students will think to themselves, where would I see this type of transitional phrase in which text structure? And that would be a sequential text structure. So that would be, for example, a recipe or directions on how to put something together, um, but a sequential type of text structure. So we're gonna uh, grab this teal puzzle piece down here and we're gonna drag it over. And again, I'm gonna use the shift keys to place the puzzle piece a little bit more accurately. Good, and then we'll move on. Below first we see on the other hand. So a writer would have given information about one idea and now they are going to talk about an opposite idea on the other hand. And so that would be a compare and contrast text structure. So students would go grab this purple puzzle piece, they would pull it up, and then if they want to be more accurate, they can press the shift keys and the arrow key, shift key and arrow keys, and line it up. Under that we have because of this. And so if I'm thinking as a student about writers, writers would say because of this if they were giving an effect of something. So an idea or a topic caused something else. And so we know that this is a cause and effect text structure that this transitional phrase would be included in. And so we go grab that pink puzzle piece and line it up. Oh, that was almost perfect. And then use our shift keys to more accurately place it. Our left column is done. We are going to move on to our right column. I'm starting at the top and it says the result of this is. Now writers would use the term the result of this is if they were going to give an effect of a topic. So this is also cause and effect. So we're going to grab that pink puzzle piece again and we're going to drag it up and try to line it up as best as we can. Now I've used cause and effect twice and if you remember in the directions it says there are two puzzle pieces for each text structure and this is just to help students uh, make sure that they are picking different text structures, right? You don't have a student who chooses problem and solution for each one of these. And so it helps give them a little bit of a hint. And so you'll notice once the students use two of one type of text structure, that puzzle piece space where they were turns white. And so that's just a good cue for them saying, hey, there's no more puzzle pieces here that you can drag. Moving on, right underneath that uh, cause and effect text structure, we have the transitional phrase similarly. And so similarly is something that a writer would use to compare two things. And so students can come to the conclusion that that is a compare and contrast text structure. They grab this purple puzzle piece and they pull it up. Moving on, underneath that we see simply the word next. And so next is a sequential transition. And so we're gonna go grab that teal sequential puzzle piece, pull it up and line it up. And if we look down here, we only have one option left, which is problem and solutions. So let's double check. Our last transitional phrase says to fix this issue. If I'm a writer and I'm using the phrase to fix this issue, I've already explained or I've already told my reader about a problem and now I am giving them options about how they can fix this problem. So that would be problem and solution that checks out. We grab the problem and solution puzzle piece, drag it into their spot and I did that on the first try which is exciting. And then we can see all of our puzzle piece spaces are white so we have finished the activity and now we are ready to turn it in. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that activity, make sure you check out the rest of the activities in my store. Again, that's teacherspayteachers.com slash creatingwritingwarriors. If you have any comments or suggestions as to how I could improve this activity, go ahead and place a comment below and I will see you next time. run a Teachers Pay Teachers store called <laughs>